first topic is an assessment of the psychosocial effect of Almagerie system on child development in Gwanje Ward, Meduguri, Bono State of Nigeria. I am Tena Kiyase. Hello, Ms. Tona. What happened? Hello? Ms. Tona? Yeah, continue, please. Yes, I finished the, finished the topic. Uh, introduction. The Almagerie system please, you... is a traditional system of education associated with Islamic education practiced in some parts of Africa and Asian countries, especially the Muslim-dominated countries. The word al emanated from an Arabic word al muhajirin meaning emigrant, describing someone who leaves his home in search of knowledge in Islamic religion. The al system of education is practiced today in northern Nigeria, is seriously abused as evidenced by the conditions under which the system is operating. Today, the word al has acquired a completely new meaning it is mostly referred to as beggars roaming the streets in our towns and cities. They are seen swarming the streets of northern Nigeria like locals begging for arms in order to sustain themselves and their malam. Mr. Ona, you can operate the controls with you. Use the up and down borrow, uh, uh, arrow which is at the bottom of the screen. Hello? Hello. Mr. Ona? Ona. Yeah. The Amajiri who is taught to be a pious pupil in search of learning became rather a social problem in the society. They practically depend on people for their food and other life needs. In the course of begging on the streets, they are exposed to various forms of hazards and situations. Begging for food takes most of their time instead of learning. This is in contrast with federal government of Nigeria's proclamation, which states that every Nigerian child has a right to equal education opportunities, irrespective of any real or imagined disability. Several factors can be associated with the poor organizational structure of the Amadri system of education. These factors may include but not limited to high tracking poverty line in the family to take care of their children's basic needs. Nura in 2010 reported that Amadri sleep on worn out mats and sometimes up to 30 Amadri sleep in a room that is not well ventilated making them vulnerable to all forms of airborne infection and other diseases which some sleep while some sleep in uncompleted buildings by the roadside. Objectives of the study. The specific objectives of the study are one, to identify the psychological effects of a madrid system on child development. Number two, to explore the social effects of a Madrid system on child development. Hypothesis 1. There is no significant difference between the number of children in the family the Almagiri child comes from and the care of the Almagiri child. Number 2. There is no significant difference between separation of child from parents and how the Almagiri child feels. 3. There is no significant difference between the environment the Amadri child lives in and their security needs. Methodology. A descriptive survey design was used for this study because it deals with accurate and factual description 
and the summary of the actual situation. Study setting. Research work was conducted in Gwanje Ward 1 and 2 of Medigu region. Gwanje was created in 1975 by Baba Gwanje. It later developed into Gwanje 1, 2, and 3 wards. These wards are headed by the district head called Alhaji Zana Medigui Gwanje. One is further divided into five units, and each is headed by a Bulama. Generally, the predominant inhabitants are traders, truck drivers, bricklayers, and embroiders. The custom and tradition of the residents are highly influenced by Islam. The population is multi-ethnic. Wanje Ward, as the area of study, is one of the areas where the majority system of education is highly practiced. Study population and sampling technique. Convenient sampling method was used to select 150 amajuris used for this study. Six schools were picked out of 46 schools found in Gwanje 1, while nine schools were picked out of the 52 schools found in Gwanje 2 using simple random sampling technique. Instrumentation. A structured questionnaire was formulated by the researcher, by the researchers, which was translated into Hausa language. The instruments validated by experts, where content validity index was computed, and the result obtained was 0 0.81, which indicated the instrument's validity. Ten copies of the questionnaire were pretested at Myri Kuwait, Jere Local Government, Bono State. Using test retest method to ensure consistency and reliability of the instrument. Reliability coefficient of 0 0.75 was obtained, which made it right for the study. Procedure for data collection. The researchers obtained an ethical approval from the district head of Guanje. 150 respondents were selected over the period of one month. Informed consent was obtained from the respondents. The questionnaire was translated into outer language to the respondents for data collection. The researchers trained additional three people who assisted in data collection by using the checklist, asking them to fill, asking them and filling the appropriate option. Method of data analysis. Data was analyzed after collection by the researchers using descriptive and inferential statistics, simple frequencies, percentages, and chi square was used for testing the relationship at 0 0.05 level of significance. All data were presented in table. Results. Psychological effects of a magic system on child development. The findings of this study show that 27% and margin stay with their parents, while 73% do not. 56% of their margins were disturbed, while 34% stay okay. This finding is in accordance with Duku 2009, who reported that parents are becoming insensitive to the welfare of their children and they dispatch them to unknown places to take care of themselves. This implies that when a child is deprived of initial parental care, such a child can potentially be disturbed, depressed, and may feel rejected by his parents and the society at large. The result of the study equally showed that there are majorities who are bullied or maltreated by, the, by their malams or seniors were 59%, while those who are not were 41%. This is in accordance with Tafida 2008, who reported that malams are unable to cater for their marjories and send them to do many jobs and begging. This implies that the malams and the senior marjories take advantage of them, ask them to beg and wear failure to deliver on such assignments, it could be problematic for the Amajuris in question. On the loneliness and angry feelings by the Amajuris, the results showed that 23% Amajuris feel lonely and angry, while 27% do not. This is again in agreement with social psychology thought, which noted that when a child is exposed to labor at a teen age and deprived of little or no benefit, and entertainment, such a child has a risk of developing the habit of loneliness or introvert behavior in future.
social effect of imaginary system on child development. On the social effect, the results showed that 53% of the imaginary live and sleep in a habitable building. 41% live in an open environment. 5% stay on the street or by the roadside. This finding corresponds with Nura 2010, who reported that the imaginary sleep on worn out mats with about 30 of them sleep in a room without good ventilation, while some of them sleep in uncompleted buildings or even by the roadside. This situation signifies the connection between the intention and reality on the ground. Therefore, for the intention to be fully achieved, the anomalies associated with the system must be addressed. The result also showed that 39% of the respondents have normal regular meals, while 61% this is in line with Nuru, Nura 2010, who will find that the economic hardship in the country is taking its toll on the imagery, and they hardly get leftovers, rather, they had to resort to doing many jobs to feed. On the question of whether the imagery is being neglected by the society, 59% feel neglected, while 31 do not feel neglected. This finding is Concordance with Rakida 2008, who reported the Amajuris are regarded as outcasts, public nuisance, and social miscreants by the society. Ms. Turner? Reported by Turner? That child yes, Hello, yes. Turner. You got now three more minutes to finish. Please continue fast. Yeah, yeah. They regulated. Majority of the respondents are affected psychologically and socially as a result of the imaginary system. This is due to lack of adequate care, feeling of anger and loneliness, lack of proper feeding, exposure to dangers, lack of proper security, and being neglected by the society. Many of the imaginaries will want to go for Western education if given the opportunity. Recommendations. Recommendations and suggestions were propagated on the ways of improving the imaginary system since it is both a matter of religion and culture which existed for decades. Approving it certainly is not the best option, but improving it. Community health workers should involve the community through mobilization and health education on the effect of poorly organized imaginary system of education on child development. Mass sensitization campaign to enlighten the society on the dangers of abuse of the system. Government and other stakeholders should identify the areas where the imaginary system is still prevalent and coordinate the activities of the malams in line with modern Quranic learning, which will broaden the knowledge of the students on Quranic education. Government should explore all the possibilities of co-opting and integrating the identified imaginary education centers into compulsory universal basic education schemes while retaining the religious content. Community health workers should educate their patients on the importance of child spacing. National and state assemblies should enact laws that will provide for proper structuring and positioning of the imaginary system. Poverty alleviation and mass literacy skills should be pursued vigorously with an aim to improving the standard of the imaginary system. And government should collaborate with non governmental organizations in the mobilization and integra integration of the imaginary system with Western education system. Conclusion. Begin is one of the most disturbing social issues of our time, and parents are becoming so insensitive to the welfare of their children that they despise them to unknown places to take care of themselves without making any arrangement for their feeding, medical care, shelter, and other necessities of life. Sadly, the economic hardship is taking its toll on the imaginary on the imaginary as they hardly get leftovers and so they resort to doing many jobs like nail cutting, cap weaving, cobbling to feed. The begging and many job proceeds are used to sustain themselves and their children. Thank you. Hello. Ms. Turner, are you done with? Yes, I'm done with it. I'm sparing your time for participating in this polling. Your rating will help the participant to provide to improvise the presentation.